What's up YouTube? My name is Carlton Maybell and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you three simple R&B chord progressions. I'm going to be playing all these chord progressions in the key of C uh, to keep it nice and simple. So we're going to be playing all white keys, but you can take these progressions and play them in any key. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you the first progression right now. I'll call this one the four, six, five, and it's very simple. So it sounds like this. We started out as close friends. And then you turn into my best friend We used to tell each other everything And I never think about it going Imagine it rings and then I was so cool You know what I'm saying? That's a very common progression You know what I'm saying? And so let's get right into it This chord progression starts on, like I said, a four Now, for you all who don't know the number system It kind of goes like this In the key of C, C is your one So we got one, two, three, four five six seven and then when we get here you can kind of think of it as an eight but nobody really calls it an eight it's just one again right and so that's the basic overview of the number system so let's get right into it we're going to start on like i said a four and the key of c4 is f now i'm going to give you a major key and when i say a major key i'm not talking about the piano i'm talking about the keys to success your first major key 99 percent of the time your four is going to be a major chord 99% of the time. So, knowing that, your four is going to be an F major. Then you're going to go to your six, which is a minor chord. In this case, it's A minor. Now, 99% of the time, your six is going to be a minor chord. So, keep that in mind. Minor chord. Then we're going to go to our five, which is a G in this case. And that is a major chord, all right? G major. So, 99% of the time, your five is also going to be a major chord. So keep all that in mind. Your four is going to be major, your five is going to be major, and your six is going to be minor, all right? These are the keys to success. So with that being said, the progression sounds like this. Four, six, five, and back to the four. But now, those chords are very simple, right? These are the simplest chords I could even think of. But what I like to do with this progression in particular, and especially in this key, is I like to invert my chords in my right hand. And so when you invert a chord, you pretty much reorder the structure of the chord. So in, in the case of F major, we have an F, an A, and a C. You can hit these notes in any order, and it's still going to be an F major chord. So in my case, I take the C, and I put it at the bottom. So I still have F, A, C, so still an F major chord. And I do this inversion for all of these chords in this progression. So when I play it, instead of it sounding like this, it'll sound more like this. You know what I'm saying? You know, when I play that progression, I just want to sing. So that is that progression. I call that the four, six, five. Now, I might be calling it the wrong thing, but I don't care. I call it the four, six, five, and it sounds good. So that is that one. Now, let's get into the second progression. The second one is very similar to the first one. I like to keep my videos very, very simple. And so I'm not going extra deep and saying all these big words i'm gonna keep it very very simple and so for the second progression i like to call this one the four six five three okay so it's gonna be very similar to the first progression i showed you and i'm gonna play it for you right now it sounds like this nothing feels better than this nothing feels better nothing feels better than this nothing feels better no, you don't have to hide. Look me in my eyes, city. Nothing feels better than this. You get what I'm saying? So that is that progression, the four, six, five, three. So let's get into it. Like I said, the four is going to be a major chord 99% of the time. So we're going to hit that. Your four is a major. Easy peasy. Now, this is where I'm going to mix things up a little bit. Now, I told you that your six is going to be a minor chord 99% of the time. And that is true. This is an A minor chord. 
But what I like to do in this progression in particular is I like to hit a minor seven. You can always add a seven to your chords uh, to give them more flavor. So in this case, this is an A minor, but if you hit it like this, it's an A minor seven. It's just inverted, so it looks a little funny. It would actually look like this if I played it straight up. Okay? But I'm, I'm keeping my hand kind of low. So what I did is I put the G, I lowered the G, I lowered the E, and I took the A out of my right hand because the A is in my left hand. So I don't need it in my right hand. It actually sounds better without it in this progression. So this is your six minor seven. Then from your six minor seven, you go to your five major, okay? We know this chord, G major, since we're in the key of C. And then to bring you back around, you go to your three, all right? Now your three is gonna be a minor chord 99% of the time. So in the key of C, your three is just a simple E minor, which is an E, G, B, right? Easy. Now, and then that takes you right back to your one, which is an F minor chord, F, A, C. So what I'm gonna do uh, to make this really clear is I'm gonna break it down uh, and I'm gonna play it for you very slowly. Now, just to break it down, like I said, this chord is, a, is your one, six, five, three. In the key of C, that's a F major, six minor seven, Five major, which, so which is a G major, and then three minor, which is an E minor, and then right back up to your four, okay, which is an F major. So, very easy. Let me play it for you really slowly so that you understand how this progression sounds. One more time. Sounds like this. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond, yeah. So shine bright, no one lies. We're one lie. We're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. You get what I'm saying? This is a very common progression. It's found in a lot of songs. <laughs> and so um, I'm happy to break that down for you all, and I hope I made it clear. This is a different kind of video for me, so, you know, bear with me. Now, I'm gonna take you to the last progression and one of my favorites. I call this one the four, five, six, seven, one, four progression. Easy peasy, all right? Four, five, six, seven, one, four. It just walks right up. All right, I'm gonna play this progression for you and then I'm gonna break it down to you. It sounds like this. Rain, 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 rain. I've been waiting on the low. Oh, oh, oh. I just wanna rain, 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 rain. All right, that's that progression. So let's get right into it. Very simple. This progression it starts on a four, just like the other two. So it should feel very familiar. Except this time we're playing the four a little different. We're gonna play it like this. We're gonna hit a four major seven in the key of C. That is an F major seven. All right, F A C E. And then from here, you're gonna go to your five. Like I said, your five is a major chord, so it's nice and easy, G major. And then from here, we're gonna go to our six, which is an A minor, nice and easy. Now, this is where things get a little different. From here, we're gonna go to, from after our six, we go to our seven. Now, our seven is a B in our left hand. 99% of the time, when you go to a seven in your left hand, when your left hand is doing a bass note of a seven, your right hand is gonna be doing the chord of a five. It's gonna be doing the five major, which in C is a G major chord, right here. So in this case, the seven would be considered a G major chord with the B in the bass, okay? So just because it has the B in the bass doesn't mean it's a B chord or whatever. It's still a G major chord. It just has the B in the bass. All right? And then, so that is your seven chord. Remember, 
99% of the time, your seven is going to be a five major, okay? So, when we get to our seven, we hit a G major chord. G, B, D, with a B in the bass. Then, we go to our one, which we know the one, we're in the key of C major, so your one is a C major. Okay, this is an inverted C major, but still C, E, G. So, C in the bass, E, C, G. I mean, <laughs> G, C, E in the right hand. And then from here, we go right back to our four. And our four being our four major seven. I add the seven this time because it makes it feel more like R&B. And this progression in particular, remember I said you can add your sevens. They, can, they add flavor. So it's still a major chord. Just adding that seven does something special to it. All right. I'm going to play this progression for you very slowly uh, to make sure it's nice and clear. It sounds like this. Get what I'm saying? It's just really smooth, so we can go like that grass ain't green on the other side. Oh no, oh yeah. Oh, grass ain't green on the other side. Oh no, I've been there. I've been there. You hear what I'm saying? We can we can play this progression to a few different songs. And so I really like this one. So just remember, um, your this progression, I like to call it, like I said, the four, five, six, seven, one, four progression. All right. And so I hope I made this tutorial very clear and very simple for you all to understand. I've been watching uh, theory videos on YouTube, and sometimes they are just so complicated that I feel like an idiot. And I just like, you know what? I don't want to watch it. <laughs> but um, in this video, I just try to keep things very simple because I'm simple. Uh, and so I want to kind of talk to people who are not as advanced as some people who know every little thing. But just have more of a general knowledge and really want to just you know play and so i hope this helped you if you're a producer and you make beats or whatever you can really experiment with these chords um and and mix them up and make something special with all these progressions you can change the inversions and make them sound different and really make them your own a lot of these a lot of songs use the same progressions but the songs sound completely different and so you can do that as well like i said you can use these progressions in any key and so please let me know if you like these kinds of videos because then I'll release more of these to just kind of help you uh, be more of a musician and not just a piano player. And so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's something different and I love making videos for you all. I appreciate you all watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.